Hey everyone, I'm Jenny Clarion. I'm your transformational nutrition coach. And today I wanted to talk about vegan versus being plant-based. And what do these labels mean? Which one do you use? If you care, what do I use? And all this madness, right? So let's get down into this. So if you go on Google, type in vegan, what's the definition? You're gonna get a person who does not eat or use animal products, right? So it's not only a diet where you don't eat animal products, but you also don't use animal products. And if you're not aware of, you know, things like leather, you know, or some makeup has um, things in it, or there's animal testings, you know, and hair products or whatever, and just being really conscious about that kind of stuff. And so people tend to say, you know, if you're vegan, it's a lifestyle. It's not just the diet, right? Because some people, they're only incorporating the diet aspect of it by not eating, but are still using animal products. So what is the right term to use, right? And that's why plant-based kind of came around plant-based diet, right? Because um, if you're using the term vegan, but you know, you use animal products, then you're not really a vegan, right? And also the intensity aspect of it, because, you know, maybe you don't eat or use animal products, but maybe you're not so strict about it. And, you know, you're like, I try my best not to, but every once in a blue moon, you know, we're not perfect and you use it, right? So then you have the people who are extremists and they get really mad if you use that label because if you really are a vegan, you wouldn't just, oops, sorry, you know, every once in a blue moon I'm going to use something that's an animal product, right? And then there's the people who are the extremists on the other sense, right? So this doesn't necessarily have to do with just the vegan world. Like, this is with all words, right? Like, some people use certain terms, but everyone has their own definition of that intensity, right? So so for some people, vegan means 100%, no, 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 you are, you are locked in on this cause and it's a lifestyle and you ain't gonna like buy any animal products whatsoever, right? And that is what some people have as that to mean for using the term vegan. Versus some people are saying, I'm still vegan, but, you know, every once in a blue moon is okay, right? So who's right? Which one is, like, correct, right? And I personally want to give an example. <laughs> so if any of you guys have ever done, like, online dating or anything like that, the typical thing that you'll see on someone's profile is, you know, I love to travel and I love to be outdoors in nature and hike and stuff like that. But I'm like, okay, cool. So I'll message the person and try to really find out because just saying you love to travel, that doesn't really say much, you know? Same as being vegan, right? And and this is why, because when I message that person and say, oh, cool, so you like to travel, where have you been, da 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 this, this, and that, or like, what kind of traveling do you like to do, right? And this person will say, it could be anywhere from, oh, you know, I like to check out the cities around me, do like little weekend trips, and that's their travel, okay? And then you'll talk to someone else and they're like, oh, I'm doing international trips like every month, right? And they love to travel, right? So there's a lot of extremes. Some people go for like months on end and that's their way of traveling. Some people like to travel like very minimal um, amenities and not like these extravagant hotels and other people like to go that route. So that's traveling. It's just a different type of traveling. Same with those who like to be outdoors and in nature and hiking. You can meet someone who just likes to go on a couple mile hike, just stroll around and like enjoy. And then there's like hikers that are like 
I want 20 plus miles on my hike. I'm going like every week, you know, and all this other stuff. And there's people who just like only do it once in a blue moon, right? And they still call themselves a hiker. So it's just the intensity of it, right? So that's all. That's why I don't really like labels because it doesn't really say much, you know? And I know that's why some people are trying to put in really exact terms for it by saying, you know, if you use the term vegan, then you absolutely don't eat it. In 100%, there's no like, oh, but my mom made me this and, oh, it's a big worry and I, you know... Just I'm just going to do it to just make it easy on her, but it's not something you do all the time. But, you know, animal products, I try my best, but, you know, sometimes it's not possible, so I'll do it, you know. But you can't use the word vegan to some people, right? And, you know, I don't know what's another term, but this other term, plant-based, came about because if you're kind of eating mostly a plant-based diet and then every once in a while you have meat or animal byproducts like eggs and stuff like that or dairy, then people kind of use that term. So it's okay, right? So you can kind of go with that. I for a while was using plant-based because of that reason. I, if you guys don't know my background story, I was a crazy meat eater. I grew up on the typical sad diet sad because <laughs> standard American diet, just in case you don't know. And, you know, it really does make you sad and depressed and angry. <laughs> and so I couldn't finish, I couldn't transition overnight. There's some people who can just do it overnight. I tried a few times and it just didn't work for me and I had to transition. And it took almost over a year. And so, you know, I would gravitate towards a plant-based diet, never would I say I was vegan, and especially even when I was vegan, I think I'm like vegan for like eight months now or something, I still don't really like to use that term because um, I know with the some of the extremists, like if once in a blue moon you do have something, they're going to like off with your head with that, right? And for the most part, I don't, but I also still... Um, like, for example, when I came back from Thailand, my mom made me um, her amazing kimchi, right? And she doesn't know that I'm vegan now. And so she put in all her labor of love for this to make me kimchi. And kimchi, though, has, like, really small pieces of um, a fish in it. And they don't put that much, but they put a little bit just to add flavor, right? And so I ate it because, you know, I just, I, I just felt really, I, I noticed how much love that my mom did this just for me and was so excited of my return and she knows how much I love her food. So I still ate it and, um, you know, now she makes me kimchi with none of the fish in it, you know, and it's not something that I'm always doing all the time, but it's something for my judgment call that um, I will do. Because I remember even for the longest time, um, I, I really truly believe in trying to not have um, these like sinful foods, even though um, I believe in not killing or harming animals and really wanting to support that. But um, I also just believe in flexibility in some of that. And who am I to say or get angry <laughs> if once in a blue moon you have something or if your reasons for that is legit because you're doing it out of love for somebody else who is trying to do something for you out of love, you know? You even read about how, um, like when I was in Thailand, how some of these monks who are actually vegetarian will eat meat products given to them by um, people outside as part of like their offerings or gifts to them because they were trying to give them a gift. And even though it's like, hello, I'm a vegan or a vegetarian, it's kind of like the thought that counts. So they'll still eat it. 
And, but it's kind of trippy because you're like, don't these people know that the monks are vegans and why are they giving them food that they can't eat? So they'll still eat it because it was meant with a good heart. So I really do believe in that. And, you know, there's a difference between like, I'm not going to be able or someone else is going to be able to call out and be like, oh, that person is using that card instead of it just being like they just really want to eat meat and they're not able to like control their desires, right? I feel like no one can put that judgment on you. And if some people flame you or attack you for using certain labels or eating, you know, animal byproducts while you're transitioning or, you know, even if you have transitioned fully and during certain situations you feel it's right to eat it because of a different reason than your own, <laughs> I want to say ego, but I can, I know people will get really mad and say this is for the animals and it's not about my ego. I totally agree with that, but um, yeah, it's a really hard concept to just do in a few minutes, and wow, it's already a 10-minute video. <laughs> so yes, that's what it is, but this is what I'm all about. I really do believe everyone should go towards... Um, eating less animal products. If you went from me eating like gigantic amount from each meal, like three to five times a day to, you know, eating it just once a day, hallelujah. Like that makes me so happy. And your body is going to thank you and make you so happy -er because of it too. So I really believe whether you come in from the vegan lifestyle, whether through you know, because of health reasons or because of animal cruelty or for the environment or for spirituality, I really believe any of those avenues will really have you dive in and dive deeper to accept it to be all of those avenues. Because for me, initially, it was for health, even though, you know, I love animals and I don't want animal cruelty. At the same time, it's just like, I care about myself. I'm very selfish and I want to take care of my health first and I want it for, you know, me to look better in my body and to feel better, right? And then once that gets filled and completed, then you're going to want to check out those other avenues and you're really going to start to resonate with it. And I really do believe when you start to eat this cleaner lifestyle, you're going to be vibing on these higher vibrations and be having these thoughts and compassions and loves for other being besides yourself too. So you're going to naturally going to see it as for animal cruelty, for the environment and for spiritual reasons, you know, and that's what happened for me. So when people ask me now why I don't eat meat products, I say it's for everything. It's definitely I came in originally for my health, but now it's for, you know, animal cruelty, for the environment, and for spiritual reasons as well, too. And it just becomes this full circle. And I really do believe everyone's going to get there. When they get there, that's on them. That's not my decision. I mean, if you would have asked me 10 years ago that I would be vegan, I'd be like, you're crazy. That's never happening. I love my meat, you know? So... It's, it's amazing what um, the world will show you to and will lead you to. So whether that's through me or some other means by watching the many documentaries that are out there on um, those avenues and with you resonating with one of them initially and then going through that way, perfect, amazing. It's going to happen. I'm not going to you know yell at you in the meantime how that happens and how you do it. We all did it our own ways. I did it my own way. And <laughs> so no need for criticism or judgment. And, you know, you kind of just resonate with whoever your person and being is. You know, there's people who are like Free Freely and Henya who are amazing people. And, you know, they're all about sticking with it 100% the vegan lifestyle. And that's great. So if that resonates with you and your philosophy, definitely join them. I'm not saying one way is better than the other. Um, I think it's I'm focusing on the end result and not the how to get there. I think there's very many different ways of 
getting there. And the more people that we can get towards the end result is all I care about. So if you like me or not, that's totally fine. I honestly do not care. <laughs> but I thought maybe this video will help you. You can use plant-based. You can use vegan. If you do use vegan and you don't really see it as a lifestyle, there might be some haters out there and just know that's going to happen. But that's with anything in life, right? So then go back and use plant-based and then when time comes and you can switch over to the vegan term, then use it. I kind of, what do I use? I don't really use, I switch between those labels. I, I don't really resonate with either one of them. I... Maybe I'll come up with my own, but that's still another label, right? So I use vegan a lot just because it's been around, and when I go to restaurants, it's very easy to explain um, my diet, right? And they are able to understand that. But anyways, I'm really curious to hear what you think is the difference between plant-based and vegan, and, you know, do you use one term over the other, and why, and your thoughts, and I'm so curious to find out what initially got you towards this, you know, not eating, you know, animal products. Was it because of your health? Was it for animal cruelty? You know, the environment or spirituality? And then, you know, how has that progressed? Have you now been like, it's everything now, like me? Or have you slowly just taken on a few of the other causes, you know, and avenues for that? I would love to hear about that. So you can put that in the comments below. If you like this video, please like it. If you don't like it, go ahead. I don't care. I just like it. <laughs> Um, and please subscribe. I'm going to talk about these kinds of things and what are the things you can eat to get fulfilled in life, right? A lot of times, you know, my um, I tend to have tendencies to overeat and the reasons for that, right, is because we're not really getting fulfilled when we're eating these junk foods, right? And not really sitting with what we're feeling, right? So I go through with mind, body, and spirit. That's what my videos cover. It's a very large range, but through nutrition, health, and movement and spirituality. So please subscribe to that if you want to find out more about that. If you want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, please check out my website at Jenny Claire net and you can click on the let's talk button and we can set up something and please share let people know about plant-based versus vegan which ones do they like and should we come up with a new label I don't know <laughs> so until then I love you guys you guys are amazing you guys are superstars please don't let anybody say otherwise Please don't let yourself be the worst critic. You are amazing, okay? I'm telling you, you are amazing. So until next time, I'll talk to you all later. Bye.